Hey everybody, this is Oliver Joyce. And if you are in the Southern Hemisphere like me, September the 1st is the first day of spring. The flowers are in bloom and there is a freshness in the air. And it's a good time to be alive. Uh, it's beautiful. The weather is just stunning here right now, aside from, you know, the intermittent rain. But with spring coming, my thoughts now turn to finishing off the game. Uh, I really think we're on the home stretch. It's September now. I think I can get this game done by January or February. So another four or five months maximum. One of the big milestones towards getting Swords and Sandals and Mortals finished is, of course, finishing off all the arena rules in play. And what I mean by arena rules are each arena has its own special set of rules um, that determine how you play. Uh, and this really changes up the strategy of the game. So the first arena, straight up regular arena. But you might find you venture into the second, the third, fourth arenas. Second one has that pit, if you remember. That was the first of the arena rules that went in very early. But other arenas have things like spike traps or no axes, meaning you can't bring an axe in, or no armor, <laughs> or perhaps no armor and no axes, or even uh, no lightning magic, or even more interesting rules like survival arenas, meaning you have to fight three, four battles in a row without you know healing. So one after the other after the other. And perhaps the most interesting and fun rule change of the game are the tag team battles, which we'll see in several arenas. I'm going to see that uh, in um, today's video. I'm going to show you a bunch of these rules and see how they play out. So I look forward to showing you patch 0.6.0, .0, which will be coming out probably not today, but most likely early next week, depending on how things go. And this will change up how you play the game. I'm not going to lie. If you've been playing through the game with a character, it's almost worth starting again with a new character and just seeing how much the rules impact your strategy and you may find that where you've been coasting through the game using a certain strategy you have to mix it up a little bit for a certain arena if you've been relying on fire magic you might need a uh, ice magic that kind of thing but let's jump into today's video and i'm going to show you a little bit of gameplay from patch 0.6.0 and once again we find ourselves in the debug town Willard Sound, the starting town of the game. And when I say debug, it's the town that I use when I'm programming the game to test out everything. It's the familiar town that everyone knows quite well. And for now, I've set the rules to be special for this town. By default, just gonna be regular rules and you'll have to go to various different arenas to discover all the different special rules. But we're gonna test out a few in this town today. Let's go into the fight selector now. You're gonna notice this new panel appears. Willard Sound Arena special rules, no swords. Gladiators may not wield swords in this arena. You're denied entry. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to town. I could have probably done it from that panel as well, actually. So but what we're going to do is equip our Morning Star instead. Head back in. And now you'll see no swords, but we're allowed entry in. You notice none of these gladiators brought a sword with them. They've got axes and that kind of thing. And when we go to fight... Uh, we'll have to fight this whole um, arena with not using swords. So if you had a powerful sword that you're using, you're not welcome in this arena, which should change up. And if you've been specializing in the sword attacks and so on, uh, you'll find you have to use a different kind of weapon, which I think mixes the game up a lot. Anyway, we're not going to um, complete this battle because I want to show you a few m more arena rules. Back in the town again with a new character here. And this arena rule is... No fire magic. Gladiators may not use fire magic in the arena. And bear in mind, I can actually combine rules. So I can say no fire magic and no axes, perhaps. You know what I mean? I can really mix things up. So each arena will be slightly different from the last. But if we go into battle now against um, this character here. And I try and cast a fire magic spell. Have a look at this. Incinerate. Cannot use arena special rules. No fire magic, so not allowed to do that. We can, of course, cast all our other spells as, as well, but not that one. Give me a kick. <laughs> so you can see where this is going, right? By mixing and matching different arena rules, I can create a unique experience throughout all 36 arenas just to mix up the gameplay because I don't want you going through the whole game just with one strategy because I think that uh, sort of defeats the purpose of the game and it you know, makes things a bit too grindy. But by introducing different rules... 
uh, I can really make each arena feel a bit unique and your game feeling a bit more challenging as well because rather than just increasing the difficulty of the game like we have been, I think in bringing in different strategies uh, will make a big difference. Let's go back to the arena and I'll show you a couple more rules. Let's head to the fight selector again and check out today's rules. Spikes. This arena has spikes that cause damage when stood upon. And not just damage, significant damage. So you'll notice when we go into the arena, you'll see spikes on the left, spikes on the right. Uh, big spikes can really skewer you. They do, at the moment, 10 points of damage per character level. And we'll probably, you know, balance that out when uh, based on people's feedback. But they go up and down pretty quickly. So let's watch them. That did 450 points of damage. Basically instantly killed me. Okay, so that's pretty tough. Okay, so those spikes are maybe a little too powerful right now. I'm going to tweak the damage of them before, um, you know, I bring this patch out. And we'll just, we'll make it sort of uh, relative to your character level. But maybe not as uh, one shot as that. Hey, right now, I just want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters. So let's go over there right now. Oh, Amra, if you'd like to be a patron, that would make my day. You've jumped in early, you fool. All right, Sovereign's Monarchy, welcome. Pookie, XTR, Barty X, Brandon K, Cheese Chow, Churstons, Davy Hollander, Ilya Gurevich, Timmy Boy, X Up Omega, Jeffro, Hex 3D, Hopeless, Eunice, Neighbor Jack, Nua Garajan, and Pipech. Thanks, guys. Uh, you're the best. Thanks for supporting me on Patreon. And I've got a uh, Patreon newsletter coming out to you in the next hour or so. Every week, you guys get a special uh, advance, basically information about the game that no one else is getting and also about my future projects and plans for Whiskey Barrel Series and so on I like to share with you guys before I share with other people. So um, I just want to thank you guys um, for supporting the channel. You're the best. All right, here's a fun one I want to show you. This one is called The Time Limit. Gladiators must defeat their enemies in less than five turns, or 10 turns, or 20 turns. It'll start off with 20, then it'll kind of get less and less, depending on what the arena is. This is a real challenge. Let's see what happens if we don't. And this puts a real kind of like impetus on doing damage early. Turns left, five. You see this up here? This only appears in time limit battles. Move backwards. Four turns left. Three turns left and it turns red. Two turns left. One turn left, we rest. Ah. Nobody wins. Your enemy was not vanquished before the time limit expired. So that's a tough one. Five limit is only going to appear in one arena, one special arena. And that's going to be a real tough one. But uh, I think you guys are up for the challenge. Most of the time, the time limit arenas will be 10 turns or even 20. So I just want to say with all these arenas, they're untested. So as you guys play the game, you let me know what you think. If something is impossible to complete or too hard, I can tweak it and I can change it. I'm going to be putting in all the various arena rules uh, today for the big patch um, coming soon. And, you know, I often don't have time to play through the whole game and test every arena. So you let me know. Um, that's why early access is so useful for me because I get your feedback um, without having to play through, you know, 40 hours of gameplay that kind of thing but yeah let me know if some of those are just too tricky i believe enemies can be defeated in five turns um potentially not but we'll find out okay let's head back into the arena for one of the last rules i want to show you and this one is the survival rule survival gladiators must win three straight fights and may not heal or leave the arena between fights so instead of being able to select those guys to fight them 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 than the champion. So this is a tough one, but I think you're up for the challenge. So, you know, let's see if we can take this guy out. Let's put his guitar. Let's see if one of our skills. I've actually got a win a proper battle. What's going on? Oh, I didn't even survive the first round. But if I had, we'd go straight to the second round and my armor would be the same and my health uh, would be wherever it was at the start, the end of the last battle. So that's a tough one. I got one more rule I want to show you and that is the tag team rule. And I think it's, it was the most challenging to put in, but I think it's the most fun 
and um, different of the arenas. There are other rules in the game, which I'm not showing you right now, and you can discover as you go through the game. But this, I think, is the most um, you know, game-changing. Let's check it out. Go back to town once again, and watch what happens when we go into the uh, fight selector now. Ah, we've been teamed up with an elder Hathian knight known as Hataris. Emperor Hataris. You look a little too holy for me. You better not show any weakness on the field. If their alignment is different than yours, they'll uh, say something not so polite. Uh, now, we have to choose one of these teams to fight against, and we have to defeat the other ones. Gladiators will be sorted into teams of two and must fight other gladiators. We could fight these guys, these guys, or these guys. And tells you a bit about them up there. Let's take on um, these two unpleasant characters. Now with tag teams, notice here you have your teammates' um, stats there and your uh, enemy teammates' stats there. This new button here, tag in, tag out. So if I walk backwards, I can tag my teammate in. That takes one turn um, and then they're in battle. Now any status effects that you have on you when you're tagged out, they don't sort of count down when you're not tagged in. So you can't just go like, oh, I'm on fire, I'm going to tag out and wait for that fire to disappear. That'll still be back when you tag back in. But if your character dies, so let's see if we can get this guy, one of our characters killed. And your enemies, your tag team guys will um, sort of cheer and get upset depending on how the battle's going. They're actually doing all right with our little teammate, you know, and you get to use all their skills and that kind of thing. If they have special items like that, you can use them. You can use any special skills that they may have. So we're probably going to die, but I can, you know, I can tag back in any time like this. Our health is back up to our normal character. Our teammate's health is low. I'm going to tag back in our teammate Hataris. And then try and get him killed. I just walk forward. Do some damage. There you go. Now, he's out. Then we team back in. And if uh, Salonius, our main character, dies, uh, then we've lost the battle. We'll try and fight properly now. I've only got a shank, so it's not doing much damage. When I do these random test characters, often that'll give them you know, decent gear. Hey, Battle Rage. Should help us. Should use a special skill, right? Oh, come on, seven health left. Oh, okay, he's tagged in his teammate. Often if they're low in health, they'll tag in their teammate. That makes it difficult for me. Any skills? No, we're out of essence. Okay, so we lost the battle. Those guys won. Ah, oh, friendly skeleton. What do you think, guys? Uh, that's 0.6.0. It's a big patch, probably the biggest patch the game has had in quite a long time. And, you know, it brings a lot of changes to the game, a lot of rule changes, and possibly some new bugs and so on, and we'll iron those out in the months to come. It's a, been a lot of work, taking me two or three weeks to get this patch up and ready, and I hope uh, you guys enjoy how it changes things up. Next up, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to work on uh, towards the game. It'll either be dungeons or the observatories, depending on how I sort of, you know, how I'm feeling about either of those. I'm going to sort of take the weekend off to have a think about it and then uh, come back next week and have a look at things. So this patch will be dropping very soon. Possibly today, but most likely I've got I'm busy tomorrow, but most likely Monday, Tuesday next week. And let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, are these changes good? I hope you like them. Uh, do they ruin the game for you? We shall see. Um, I'm really sort of powering through the game and development. It, it's kind of exhausting. This, uh, the more I put into the game, the more the code base gets kind of crazy and messy. And you know, you worry about introducing new bugs and so on. And, you know, I really want to get this game finished as much as you guys want to see it finished. Waiting on a few more armor sets just before I can bring in the Starbound Gladiator final battle fight and everything. I know you guys want to finish the game with that. Uh, that is coming, I promise you. Just waiting on that armor. That armor is complicated. Uh, there's a lot of 
you know art involved in that and yeah it's 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 a big project much bigger than i ever thought it was going to be but we are on the home stretch um multiplayer will be coming towards the end of the year that kind of thing okay if you like this channel and you know want to see more of my sort of uh musings and and, and video from the sword and sandals immortals and hopefully in the future new games subscribe like and subscribe and until next time my friends i hope you enjoy the spring if you're in the southern hemisphere or the uh, the beauty of autumn in the northern hemisphere and i hope that brings some cool relief from those going through crazy heat waves in the north what a time to be alive until next time my friends bye for now